From a 2004 survey, it was estimated that there were 35,000 horses in Clark County. These animals need water, food, and shelter, just like a cat or dog. By their size alone, though, horses create a different set of challenges for Clark County animal protection and control. When the economy took a downturn, animal control started receiving an uptick in calls from concerned citizens about horses. Neglect is often related to financial downturn of a family, perhaps, and the, the horse becomes less of a priority than perhaps the, the food on the table or the mortgage. But we also have instances where economy has caused people to just up and leave their home. Uh, we hate to see those cases, and they leave behind cats, dogs, and in some cases, horses. Thanks to volunteers, Clark County established a hay bank to help horse owners until the next paycheck. This fits the county's goal of trying to keep the horse where it is when possible. In cases of neglect or abuse, the county has a contract with the Humane Society to accept cats and dogs. But where does an emaciated six-foot horse go? We only have four officers, so we're, we're pretty scattered. Uh, we have limited funding as well, and then of course the county does not own a, a stable or a barn. We're at the mercy of volunteers and foster homes for any ho horse that comes into our possession. So we're very grateful to the Clark County Executive Horse Council and their Adopt-A-Horse program. We're going on seven years. <clears throat> We've basically worked with, I, I think our numbers are up in the 130s right now in horses that we've uh, either taken into the program or, or had to deal with in one way or another. We do everything we can to save them within our financial means, but we are a nonprofit and we are solely sufficient on our own fundraising. In some circumstances, an owner can no longer take care of a horse and turns to animal control for help. Not having the resources, such as a handler or trailer, the county relies on their partners. Basically what we're trying to do is trying to give this horse a last chance. Essentially they've had other people try to load him and it's not been successful. They have a time deadline that they have to have him off the property. And so that's when we get involved is when animal control calls us in and says this is an extraordinary situation. It's not a neglect situation. Abuse and neglect cases can sometimes be contentious. Animal control officers have attended a week-long training in horse assessment and investigation. There's a lot of things you can check. You can check uh, the eye, you know, if their eyes are clear, and you can check their uh, pulse on a number of locations around the head. You can check their jugular refill here, which is along this crease of the neck, and you can see that the blood comes back up, and if that recharges quickly, you can tell their cardiovascular is pretty good. Uh, on the shoulder, there's a point where you can kind of just grab the skin, and if it you know, rebounds quickly, the dehydration isn't a factor. The horses live and die on their hooves. If an infection starts in there, if any of the myriad of problems that happens, rehab can be long and painful or impossible. And so uh, hoof care is one of your, you know, main priorities as a horse owner. I'd, I'd classify this, ho this horse as a solid five or a six on the BCS scale, and uh, would, there'd be no concern. In fact, nobody would have called us on this horse to begin with. With a passion and love of horses, the Adopt-A-Horse program provides the training and care necessary to bring a neglected horse back to health and eventually ready for adoption. This is Cindy. It was kind of a hoarding case. They were trying to start a rescue, but it didn't succeed. And the horses started getting emaciated. They didn't have water. Animal control was able to remove the horses from there. Five of them came to our program and Cindy was one of them, and we got attached to her and decided to adopt her ourselves. Another success story in the Adopt-A-Horse program is Vegas. Her foot was very rotten and she almost lost her whole foot. She laid down a lot and so she had this whole, I guess, left side of her had big bald patches where she had basically what we had called bed sores where they did a lot of amazing stuff with her and her hair grew back and she got fat and happy and Ryder, my son, is really wanting to get into riding a lot more and they just were a perfect fit. They just have a special bond. The way that we are made aware of 
a, a cat issue, a dog issue, a raccoon issue, a horse issue, is through citizens caring, giving us a call, picking up the, the telephone, calling 397-2488 and giving us a shout. We're more than happy to go out and look at anything and hopefully it's nothing, but we need to know if perhaps it is. For more information or to donate to the Clark County Hay Bank, visit Animal Protection and Control's webpage at clark.wa.gov pets. To donate or get involved with the Adopt a Horse program, go to the Clark County Executive Horse Council website at ccehc.org.